Hi, and welcome to Santa's workshop. So, first I want to apologize for last time. It was really bad produced. I, you saw only my, the back of my head and all sorts of things. I forgot to change the camera and so on. But you kind of has to be a, a octopus to video mixer and sound and whatnot. But we cannot uh, make it. I was tired last time, so this time hopefully will be better and we cannot make it worse anyway. So uh, what we are doing is that last year we uh, we made this one cardboard uh, stuff and we made a little landscape and so on. But uh, this year I have decided we want to make a mechanical decoration. Uh, something that moves and turn around and things like that. And um, the first thing we are going to make is a mill. And last time I showed you, oops, I had made a cardboard model of it like this and this and so you kind of got the idea. But uh, in the meantime, uh, last time was Friday and uh, Saturday I was to a birthday and Sunday and, and um, today I made this and this is the, the bottom part of the mill and may in uh, in uh, in veneer uh, can I find a piece I can find a piece here see this kind of four millimeters uh, veneer and windows and there will be a door there and I made this other part here and uh, uh, no I don't have that picture on but you can see we have there's a lot of part under here too so it took a little time to make it see if turn the right yes like this and then we need to put something on here and this don't fit exactly because with these uh, paper models I just uh, kind of wing it so I I know how, how what I want to do so we will put that over there but now we need I have painted uh, you can see here I have changed the camera a little to this one I think yes and we will turn that around a little Oops. and you can see I have painted a lot of sticks and stuff so that we will use to build a rail around the this part. We need a rail all around here and for that purpose we have these and they are in another another color. So And I need one more thing, it's over here. But you can see there, it takes a little time, but this one we can take uh, use year after year. And that's a good, see, and then 
we kind of have the ankle here move it in a little but we'll put some glue on come out uh, I will clean that a little kind of dried what should we have done without paper towels is all of it no it's only the first part in the and the tube okay. and do that angle right and I will take over here take the worst take the worst stuff off And then go to the next one. But I have been really busy today doing all of this. Because I had to paint it. It's easier to paint before I put it together. this like this like this This, oops, this one, would not stay, we will hold it a little, yeah. a little more careful no we don't the paint are barely dry so I want it to be finished till we got on here. <coughs> Sorry. I was keeping an eye on the camera. That I use the right one. Huh? space get a little tighter when I have painted it. Oh. That 
what happened. to make it so tight as possible when I when I made it so then we will make a water mill and houses and trains and stuff. And the idea is we will put a motor like this in inside here so we can get the wings to turn. So, and <clears throat> the last one, put that one in, they are really tight. And then I couldn't find the, I have another one of these abort tool, but then I have made one like that, and that works precisely as fine as the abort one. So, build down in the You get a really fine milk. And then I painted some of these. To put on, I take my pencil. to see where to cut it. Here to cut it. So, so I got got a little angle on the Hold it a little while. And measure a new one. Uh, 
a new one. It is hard to see. So, cut that too. Trying to do it too fast. Need to try a little. That's always a problem when you do stuff like this. Life is. It's. You haven't time for the paint to dry, you don't have time for the glue to dry, and so on. But it takes the time it takes. Show a little patience. Where's the stick? It's too short. Take another one. Another one. <clears throat> and we make it fine rail around here. But it is a, a fun thing to make. And people, oops. P 
people often say, I can't make stuff like that. <clears throat> and I always say, have you tried? And then they say, no. Nope. Now, take it easy, old man. You can't not know before you have tried. And in these stressful Christmas days for many people, then it's very de-stressing to do stuff like this. If you don't send the light, I mean. <laughs> And the kids will remember it years to come. They will even remember it when they get their own kids. Nope. And it's only Grill sticks and veneer and little glue and the saw. And then you're golden. And you don't need to have a motorized tool like me to do it. But it will be a good thing to wish in Christmas. or some good tools, then you can make anything you like. By now we have made a tripochet and a catapult and a wheelbarrow, old wheelbarrow. That was the first one we made here in Christmas workshop and what have we made more? We have made a lot of things, even jewelry. And we will make a lot more things. And we are, tomorrow, we are going on with our, our boat in kids workshop. And remember, that's from uh, six, six, uh, 30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. I have moved that forwards a little bit so that we can have Christmas fun all the days in December, Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m plus one, plus one UTC. Because as you can see, it takes a little time to make stuff like this. Too little. Take another one. I just caught it in a little angle. I don't know if it don't focus on it. Uh, I don't know. I 
cannot see the monitor from here. I need one more monitor. I want one to hang over here so I can see. But I'm fresh out of monitors. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven monitors. But I need one more. Oops, that was a lot. Don't breathe. It falls out. And one more. And one on this one. Still too short. <clears throat> See? And No. 
two and turn the half around and then be careful. <coughs> Sorry. And a little of this and a little of that. This one is kind of moved. Ah. Uh. Too busy. So, let will see if we can put it up. But we need some more sticks on it. to see how it worked. So you better can imagine. Right? So tomorrow I, and then we need a top on it, but uh, so like this and some wings and some stuff I'll take this first. Let's go up and so and so and
Oops. Down on the floor. <coughs> But this one will stay there, regardless. And... Maybe we should have put these on first. But what the heck? What the heck? Uh, on the wrong side. No oh, man. Uh. Much and too little. My God, now I did it again. This time it's <clears throat> and nope. <coughs> And we see if we can get it right this time. So, and so. He did. Maybe 
man was a little overkill. Here, and a little there, and a little everywhere. Oop. A little turn. Mark, there it is. This one, don't like to stay there. But regardless, if you want or not, you're gonna. Only two more.
see I have got all these that belongs to on the top here. So, so you get there, but then you can see if you put those together like this, then you have this, they don't fit, so you have to make an angle like this. You can see they are kind of an angle so that they get close together. But that I will do tomorrow. But the plan is, and I hope we can get this one finished during the week, so maybe we can make... four things during this month. At least that's a hope. I know. I'm really bad at figuring out how much time thing takes because it's kind of the first time every time. If I had made 10 of these, then I would know, but I haven't. It's my first mill. Don't. If you're going to make I'm going to make a, I don't think so, I cannot see from here. No. Make one more not if one is enough I'll take this one here so we can get it up high and we can better see how it looks We need one more. The original mill that's a model to this one had kind of, it had four this and this and two in between, but two we cannot do, but maybe we will do one more, I think so. Yes. Mm. It's hard to see.
That's it, man. That, that's that. I will put one more on. I will do it. But uh, I will spare you to watch it. Yes, it looks better. But then I will make something to to put in between so I can just lay it on. Not to measure every time. Point. So I get the exact same same uh, distance every time. What can we use? What do we have? Is this high enough? Or is it too high? Ooh. No, exactly. These are six times six squares and this is nine times nine but it will kind of fall yeah i will use that one or oh, one similar and then i can just lay one of these <laughs> then it kind of balanced <laughs> Make a little template. See? And then I can just lay it on top. Until it dries. But uh, that was what we got made tonight. So you can see. And tomorrow night, I hope we have these parts on the top or at least the and I will not glue it together before we are kind of finished because we need to figure out something about the mechanics in it or I need to where is my motor here it is So we cannot we cannot glue it this to this or maybe not or we could use we could glue this part but we need somehow to be able to get inside it. I'll figure that out. But anywho, anyhow, we will see you again tomorrow, hopefully. And we will get on with it, so sooner or later we have a whole fine windmill with some turning wings on. We don't even need to blow on it. And uh, the episodes uh, you can find if you want to build ones yourself. Uh, you can find on, uh, on uh, pixelfantasies.com and uh, all episodes of everything we make are up, up on that site. And uh, of course, you can see it on YouTube. And uh, I would like if you sus subscribe there uh, or just follow on the site. So I will say thank you. And uh, I will re make some reruns. And then I will upload this one. And then we will keep on from there. Thank you and good night.